Hi everyone, it's Kimi. Welcome to today's cake decorating tutorial. Today we will be creating two stunning swan cakes. A white swan covered in fondant and a black swan with black buttercream icing. We will be comparing the both metals so that you can choose which one you prefer. Let's get started now. First, let's cover the white swan cake with fondant. Begin by ensuring that you have a clean, smooth surface to roll out your fondant. You can use a non-stick mat, a piece of parchment paper, or even a light dusted countertop. Roll out your white fondant to approximately 1 quarter inch thickness using a fondant roller or a regular rolling pin. Be sure to dust it with powdered sugar or cornstarch to prevent sticking. Once your fondant is rolled out, drape it carefully over the cake and use your hands to smooth out any wrinkles or any air bubbles. You can also use a fondant smoother to help you create sharp edges. Next, let's create a black swan cake by icing it with black buttercream. Start by cover the cake with a thin layer of buttercream, which will help the final layer of buttercream stick to the cake. Then add a thick layer of black buttercream on top of the thin layer. Use a spatula to smooth out the buttercream and create sharp edges. If you need a recipe for black buttercream, you can find it in my previous uh, tutorial. Please check out how to make a black buttercream or I will leave the link for it. For the white swan's neck, we will use a fondant. Roll out a piece of white fondant and cut out a long curved shape for a swan's neck to so use a knife or fondant cutter. You can add details such as indentation and texture with a bowl tooth or toothpicks. For the black swan's neck, we will use a black wafer paper painted with food coloring. Cut a piece of wafer paper to the desired size and shape of the swan's neck. Paint with a black food coloring, use a small paint brush. Let them dry while we make the wafer paper lace for the swan's feather. For the white swan cake, I use a wafer paper technique called wafer paper lace to create a delicate lace effect that represents the swan's feathers and wings. This technique is an excellent way to add indicated details to your cake. To make the wafer paper lace, I mix two sheets of wafer paper with 200 grams of water and blend them together. Then I fried the dough on medium heat, using only two spoons for the one lace. Spray the dough evenly with a spatula and let it dry. The paper will start to occur and bubbles. Carefully remove the paper with thumbs or by hands and let it cool on a piece of a parchment paper. Repeat this process with all of the wafer paper feathers.
We are now ready to attach the neck to the cake and then use EW glue to attach the wings. For the white swan, attach the white wings to the side of the cake and for the black swan, attach the black wings to the side of the cake. Instead of using scissor, I have decided to cut the wafer paper by hand because it gives a more natural and pretty looks. The wafer paper lace technique is an excellent option for adding indicated and delicate details to your cake. It is a versatile technique that can be used in various ways. Whether you are making swan cakes or any other design, wafer paper lace is sure to impress your guests and add a unique touch to your cake decorating. There you have it, two beautiful swan cakes. You can now decide to which metal you prefer and use it to make your own swan cakes. Blossom your cake, blossom your day. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.